All right. Peace, everybody. Peace, peace. What up, fellas? What's good, bro? Chilling, chilling. What up, man? Yeah, man. Welcome, everybody, to the Three to Odd Way podcast. I am substantial, and I'm here with my brothers, Shiggity Sherm, Sherm the Barber. You know what I mean? Hi. Right. And, <laughs> and we got my brother Jay Cash up in here. What's good? What's good? Hope we got some more old busting up in here. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those who don't the original know, Don Dada. <laughs> <laughs> So for those who don't know, uh, we officially retired Substantial Sundays, and now Three to Our Way is the name of our show going forward. And we're so excited that y'all could join us, man. Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year, fellas. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year, man. New Year, 2021. Let's get it, man. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, my uh, you know, my expectations are uh <laughs> like real mild, bro. You know what I'm saying? After last year, I'm just like, hey man, 2021, whatever you got to offer, man. I'm just right, here. Hey. I'm just here. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go with the flow, whatever. Like I, right. I ain't do no resolution. My my whole uh, resolution was whatever the fuck happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I, look, man, it's real. Uh, it's too real, but Excited to be here with y'all, man, and uh, to keep doing what we do. And uh, definitely excited to, to introduce the podcast uh, version of the show and to still keep the video uh, going live, too, man. So on that note, fellas, uh, yeah, man, just how y'all doing? What's uh, what's the good word before we jump into things? James, so, kick that off. Well, we know uh, since January turned over, we got some birthdays coming up. Yeah. Term. Turns a little bit older, a little bit wiser tomorrow. So let me be the first to say happy birthday to you. You know, appreciate it, man. You know I mean, yeah. been a Church. long time. Yeah, you Sherm know, turns eighty five tomorrow. You know you what I mean? Know what I'm yeah, <laughs> happy born day, Sherm. You don't look a day over a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, you know, I, I try to keep myself together, man. A little Viagra, yeah. a little, little turmeric. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, man. You got any plans, man? Not to be outdone, not to be outdone, my man Substantial's birthday is also uh, this week, man. Y'all yes. killed me with this early January. Soon, I can't even get through. I'm just getting through uh, Christmas and, and Kwanzaa, and y'all <laughs> turn around, it's your birthday. So, so I've had to be you reminded know? twice already that I had to be reminded on Saturday that my birthday was coming up by, I forgot who <laughs> who it was. And then Nicole rem uh, reminded me just a little while ago. She was like, so what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, oh, wait. Right. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it comes up so damn fast. So yeah, fast. man. Be grateful people still ask, bro. Well, <laughs> yeah. 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 It was true. Right. Well, happy yeah. birthday to the both of y'all. I don't know how many Appreciate people were saying before that. So fuck mm. y'all Capricorns. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the hate, man. Stop the hate. How many of us have the? Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> it's all good, cat. You just gotta wait. You know what I'm saying? Just be here bit. before you know. You be, you know what I mean? Just a little bit. Just a little you bit. You know, it's all good, yeah. man. Yeah. So at least you get to say you the youngest. You know what I mean? That Whatever. is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah, whatever that means. Right. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? It's like, man. Look, I'm. I am 33. Thank you. I am not with them. <laughs> right. <laughs> with them. Right. <laughs> All right, but yeah, man. So, uh, Sherm, you got plans for your for your B day? Nothing, nothing at all, man. Nothing mm -hmm. at all. Like, uh, what's Monday? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. if I can get out for a skateboard ride or a bike ride, cool. Mm -hmm. Other than that, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, Just nothing. I, 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 you know me, man. I'm 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 a real like. I'm I'm raised. I was born and bred by two folks from Georgia, so I'm yeah. I'm real simple, man. I'm simple as shit. Like I, I got what I wanted. Like I got exactly what I wanted for Christmas. So I'm, I'm kind of mm. good. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All well, I need is beer and flowers. So you know, I always have beer and flowers. So it's kind of <laughs> like yes. Yeah, Speak uh, speaking of beer, what you what you sipping on tonight, good sir? So what I have tonight <laughs> is here we go. Here, oh, we, go. here, here we go. <laughs> right. You're not gonna have nothing tonight though, because it's, it's real simple tonight. We'll so see. what I have tonight <laughs> is 
a stone excav excav it's a really good beer uh-huh if you can say it what is it again right is it upside down son yes it is <laughs> okay oh wow Ooh, the lettering what's yeah that's strange that's the design weird. looks dope though but yeah so they weird. said it was done accidentally but uh -huh. it ends up it ended up that, that they liked it because it's basically no stone unturned so ah, yeah, oh, that's so, uh, this is a imperial stout inspired by Mexican hot chocolate stout brewed with chocolate, coffee, pasilla, pe pasilla peppers, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Say, I'm like, what you say about my sister? <laughs> <laughs> this shit Man, right here is really good. It's really warm. Like it's a yeah. really cozy uh, I've been winter noticing, beer. I've been noticing you've been drinking a lot of. Uh, Stout Either chocolate or or, or yeah, uh, a lot of stouts. stouts. Yeah, I'm a stout dude. I love stouts, man. It goes in my it goes in my complexion, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was destined to drink stouts, man. I fucking love them. And here right. we have another stout. Oh, uh, so this one is yeah. This is by Stone Brewing. It's fucking great. Mm. Uh, and then we have Mall Rats by Three Stars Brewing. Um, this oh. is a. Let that get into focus. There, it's a is that uh, cinnamon, cinnamon pretzels and cinnamon. Oh, wow. Yeah, this shit is like it's really it, it's sweet, but it's not like it's not like kind of candied sweet. You get you get the you definitely get the cinnamon, and you can mm -hmm. understand in the flavor where the pretzels and the cinnamon buns come into play because you you get all of that in the flavor and the. And the you know the whole palate uh, thing and you know all that all that taster type shit like right. if you if you know if you if you roll it over your tongue like you get all of that like you 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 understand where it all comes into play like you're not gonna taste a pretzel oh shit no I said nothing good sir you're just... not gonna taste a pretzel or a uh -huh. one shut up shut up. <laughs> You say nothing, man. I'm, 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 hey. I am just listening. <laughs> but you understand where all the ingredients come into play. I'm done. I get it. I hey, I I'm get it. Roll, roll, roll the mall rats over your tongue. I get that. Right. <laughs> mall rats was a is a is a classic flick too. Man. Movie, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout I out to the classic. I can't beer. get through a beer. Kevin's I can't man. get through a beer. I mean, you know, and you're the one picking these, brother. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know how we are. Y'all, sure. you, yes, yeah, you're dealing with grown ass children up. over here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, is what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? You're dealing with children with 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 gray in their beard. <laughs> you know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know. Hey man, it's how we stay young, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, oh, can't take man. life too seriously, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what Sherm is going to introduce to us, so we just stay yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So Sherm, man. Hey, so let's uh, let's go ahead and talk uh, music, man. What you got for us uh, today, brother? Um, so not a lot of new releases, um, and it's kind of crazy, uh, ironically crazy that it, there weren't a lot of new releases on my radar this week. Um, due to, I mean, uh, in 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 lieu of, or in light, or in lieu, whichever one is the term uh, that that should be applied of certain occurrences. But um, so this week, what caught my attention was Static Selectors, um, what uh, Static Selector and Kipstone. Static Static Selectors project is. Oh my God, I'm really having a brain fart. Static Selectors Project is um, the Balancing Act. Yes, mm. uh, it's a really good project. It features Black Thought. Um, mm -hmm. Black Thought opens it up. That's mm -hmm. all you need to say. Songs yeah. not long enough. Songs not long enough. No song mm. is ever going to be long enough after Black Thought did the ten minute joint. But he right. opens the. Uh, he opens, right. Huh? I said right. Right. So he opens it up, kills it. You got Joey Badass on there. Like it's it's the it's the typical static selector project. Um mm -hmm. and 
what I love about Static Selector is he is a product of the old school, but he is also very present in in, in current hip hop. So he mm -hmm. always has old artists. Like it's always you got it, it, it's always all of the tiers. You got the older artists, and you have the the artists that are now considered older, but right. they're not you know not that old. Right. And then you got new artists. So it's got a good balance. You got Jack Harlow on there. You got Conway on there. Like it's 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 a really good project. Oh, Method Man. I don't know what this 50 year old brother is smoking, shooting up, eating, yeah. or what, but he is on one. He is on one right now. And he he's he, been he, rapping he like he had a, a, on, a, a chip his on pen, his shoulder. His pen has been amazing, dog. He's on his joint with Dave East. Yeah. Oh, his body pen is bag on Method Man's part. Like Dave East does his thing, but Method Man's come, Method Man comes through and really. He, he doesn't save the song, but he does his Method Man thing. Is that the one that was um with Cortez on it too, from the battle rapper Cortez, or because I know Cortez was nah, on Twitter nah, talking this, about this Method Man feature. Selector joint. Oh, okay. Did you yeah. see? But y'all see Method Man battle too? Yeah, with uh, uh Matt Hoffa. Matt Hoffa. Yeah, his pen is amazing, bro. Yeah, yeah, Meth is that dude. Meth is definitely. Mm -hmm. that dude. Yep. Yeah. So then you got Kip Stone, Chicago artist. Um, his second project, uh, I, I, I discovered him through Mick Jenkins. Um, he has a, a, a song featuring Mick Jenkins called Sprague Street. They're both Chicago artists. Um, so his project is called Hom, H-O-M-M-E. -M -M -E. I don't necessarily know how to pronounce it because, yeah, I'm not from, I think it's French. Mm. So I'm not French. Uh, I think it's Hom. And it's a dope project. It's really introspective. Like it's it's definitely he. Uh, I I didn't listen to his previous project, uh, which was mm -hmm. released, I believe 2018. But this project definitely digs deep into his life. Like it, it, it it's a great project though. Like I was pleasantly surprised. I was it wasn't even on my radar. I just popped up on uh on Spotify for new releases. I'm like oh Kip Stone oh shit. So great release. Dope. Um so definitely check those out. Put them in a playlist. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Kip Stone Hom and uh, Static Selector Balancing Act. Both great projects. Static Selector does as usual. Um, and Kip Stone <laughs> is apparently a great up, up and coming artist. Mm. And Hom, uh, that, that translates to man, FYI. Yeah. Uh, home, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh huh. Like, okay. think about Cologne or whatever. It's like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, for, for home. For mm -hmm. home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh and so last and definitely not uh definitely on this day in particular or this week in particular, not least, is MF Doom. Rest in peace, brother Dumil Dumile. I'm sorry, Dumile. Uh so many monikers. Um Victor yeah, Vaughn. King Ghidorah, uh, Zev Love, yeah, Zev Love, Love X. X, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, shit, part uh, one, one third of KMD, yeah, uh, man. This KMD, dude, man. I was reintroduced after his passing, which I'm sure everybody knows at this point actually was on October 31st, yeah, but that's on Halloween, was that? Yeah, he passed on Halloween. Yeah. His actual passing was on Halloween Day. But it wasn't announced until a few days ago. Right. Which, in right. my opinion, is classic Doom fashion. I feel like this might have been requested. Mm. Uh, this is one of the most mysterious artists in hip-hop. And you can quote me on this. History. Mm-hmm. There's not very much known about Doom other than he is his pen game is absolutely and his pen is stupid. It is it is Basquiat like, and I say that in every essence of Basquiat, like it is really Basquiat like. Um, I rediscovered Doom once he became Doom. I wasn't I wasn't really a KMD 
fan. No, not not necessarily not a KMD fan, but KMD wasn't really heavy on my radar in the 90s. I was more into the native tongue. Like, I was heavy as shit in the native tongue. So KMD was there, but it was like, ah, no, nah, I need this Q-tip. I need this Jungle Brothers. I need anything native tongue. So, but when he reemerged, like, this dude took hiatus. Is like, he is, he's, like, he is just mysterious. He is by way of England, which I did not know until mm -hmm. uh, researching him recently. Mm -hmm. um, but he reemerged as Doom, and one of my favorite albums of all time, and I'm like, it's crazy that things like this have to happen to reintroduce you. Oh, to appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Mad Villain. Oh, yeah. It's a classic. Oh, Lord in Heaven. I I I urge you to before you eat another meal, before you drink another drop of water, go listen to Mad Villain. It is one of the most interesting, one of the most dope, one of the most lyrical. Like Doom, Doom, you gotta be a fan of Doom. Doom is like Guinness. Guinness mm. is like, <laughs> if you know Guinness, you know, Doom is like Guinness. He's always dope, but you gotta, you gotta be feeling him to get him. Because if you're not right. feeling him, you're just going to be like, what, what is this cartoon shit? And mm. that to me is one of the dopest things about Doom is that this dude really brought a comic book character to life. Yeah. Like did. his whole the the like his whole concept was this character who is it it, it was derived from comic book characters and and movie characters Dr. but mainly Doom. mainly from the comic book character Doom. Right. So you got these he he would use samples from these comic book uh excerpts and he would apply the he would he would apply the black struggle to it mm. but he would also have this like the the whole doom persona is a is a real character mm -hmm. and, like it, it 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 was just so ill how he would it's like you wouldn't listen to Doom to me. I, I didn't listen to Doom expecting to hear a song about anything. I would mm -hmm. listen to Doom expecting to hear an excerpt from the life of a comic book supervillain. I mm -hmm. didn't care what he was talking about. I just wanted to know what he had to say at that point. And that is the most spectacular thing about this dude, mm -hmm. man. He he took like it's crazy. Like he had a genius within himself that I don't know if a lot of people that didn't appreciate him will really understand. Like he mm -hmm. made, he took a comic book character and applied black struggle to it and hip the, the whole, the hip hop and, and all of hip hop culture. And he turned it into like, he made albums out of this shit. The dude mm -hmm. is crazy. I went back to mm food, which is another one of my favorite albums from yeah. my late twenties and early thirties. Like I had so much fun and you know, it's unfortunate why I had this much fun, but I was so happy for the nostalgia that was reintroduced to me in the passing of Brother Dumale, AKA MF Doom, AKA Victor Vaughn, <clears throat> AKA King Ghidorah, shit. So he, he, was yeah. very, he was very well respected on the underground circuit. Why do you think he didn't blow up beyond that? Do you think that the theatrics By design. Are, huh? By design. He didn't want to. Yeah. He's focused okay. on yeah. music. That's why he wore the mask. He didn't he didn't want you to to be focused on seeing him and being like, you know, and 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 just and just being in awe of being in the presence of doom, which on which Craig, ironically enough is what ended up happening. He wanted you to focus on his music. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean his persona and and what Doom became was about as iconic as an ind uh, independent artist can be without being mainstream. Like he was arguably the pin uh, the pinnacle of uh, you know a point that an indie artist could reach without crossing over. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, yeah. You know everybody. Terms, everybody yeah. respects Doom. Yeah. Favorite no, rapper. Favorite rapper. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. I mean, you know, I was mentioning before we went um, before we went live talking about that video of most on YouTube, just quoting doom verses for God knows how long. You know what I mean? Because he, yo, he was just stupid. My uh, one of my favorite, uh, you know, guest appearances from him was definitely on De La Souls joint. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Rock Cocaine Flow, that joint. Rock Cocaine Flow. Yo, that joint was stupid. Stupid. Dude. It was like eat MCs like part of a complete breakfast. Dude. <laughs> yo, Dude. Yeah, that joint was crazy. Yeah, man. So why why the delay? I understand the family wanted to be private with his uh with his uh passing, but why do you think that they said why do you think they released it when they did and why do you think they kept it under wraps for as long as they did? Um, I mean, I don't know. Anything I say at this point really just be speculation. Um, yeah, well, that's why I'm, I'm asking your opinion. I'm not asking for yeah. fact. I mean, okay. I know, yeah. So I mean, my two cents is that uh sometimes, you know. Um, you know, sometimes it's a mixture of privacy, um, you know, family just kind of really want to, you know, he was definitely a very private artist, um, didn't do interviews and things like that or whatever, and kind of kept, um, you know, like some of his personal life out of the limelight. So, I mean, it could be a mixture of that. It could be circumstances around his death, um, that maybe, um, you know, they don't necessarily feel like it's the public's business. It could mm -hmm. be a lot of different things. You know what I mean? It could be illness, who knows? um you know I mean, but i mean i just you know when that stuff happens man it's it's a, a you know death is death so um you know it's unfortunate regardless to if it you know like when it happened this is still a loss and so um yeah man it's just i'm not going to do a whole lot of kind of looking into it to try to figure out why and and this that and the third um but uh and you know and i probably won't like do any more speculating around it um it's just you know it's it's a major loss i thought uh, like i had mentioned to sherm before too uh before we went live um i instantly <laughs> thought of the homie fresh daily shout out to fresh daily um because he's one of the people um you know back when i was you know i i definitely wasn't like a super fan i you know i'm not going to pretend that i was like um you know just kind of going out of my way to uh, to always check for the brother. Um, and it never had anything to do with me not recognizing that his pin game was stupid. Like, Doom is definitely uh, one of the dopest uh, in terms of, like, just how he constructs uh, his bars. You know? Like, I mean, you know, the run on, like, taking a like a, a line or whatever, a punch line, and just how he could kind of keep that same theme running for, like, a couple of bars you know what I mean? Like it's still piggybacking off of like a line that he said like yeah. three, four bars before. He was stupid with it. Dude, uh, man. It, yeah, he was just crazy. But like, truthfully, man, like, you know, I'm a dude who I've been listening since, you know, since the KMD days. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure back there I still got my my old KMD album or um or uh the single for Peach Fuzz. Uh, back when Doom actually used to get radio play, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like mainstream radio play. And, um, you know, when he was at Love X. And uh, and then, you know, and of course, shout out to Third Base and MC Search um, and Pete Nice, uh, the joint um, Gas Face, you know what I mean? Because he, that was, you know, he closed out Gas Face. That was a classic joint too. And so, yo, like this dude has been in the mix for for decades since yep. like the early 90 we've been getting blessed with verses from this man so um you know rest in peace to him and salute to his legendary status um in the game you know what i mean indeed definitely yeah definitely. man definitely that but uh but yeah man so we're gonna um get ready to shift gears a little bit uh you know before uh, you do can yes we, can we can we also give a um, r.i.p to uh shabadu Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Indeed. Rest in peace. Ozone from my yeah, childhood. Yeah, man. yeah, I used Yo. to try to do all his moves. I ain't ashamed to say it. You know, I was yeah, a pop rocking fool back in the day. <laughs> but um, yeah, that, that he definitely to a lot of people. People don't. They may not know that if it wasn't for him. There would be no. Uh, it wouldn't be no rerun. You know what I mean? Uh, um, yeah. uh, 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 what's happening? Everybody knows rerun from what's happening, but. Him and um, Shabadu used to rock. Um, well known in California. Um, another talented guy that we miss. Um, somebody from my childhood is going to be missed daily. So, yeah, all right, Peter sure. Shabadu. All right, also, 
RIP to uh, Ecstasy from Houdini as well. Houdini, we also, man. Yeah, man. Got, them, got their name up on the uh, the poster in the back. Run DMC, Beastie Boys, LL Cool J, and Houdini. You know what I mean? Philly's yeah, first all rap spectacular. 86. Salute to them too. dudes, man. He was a style icon too, man. In early right, hip-hop, man. With the yeah. Man, with the exactly the freshest in the group. Group that hat was yeah, back then, man. I can't, but uh, man. yeah, Gone definitely, too soon, man. Gone too soon, yeah, man. But um, yeah, man. So you know, definitely uh, uh, a tough transition to make, but but the show must go on. Yes, so sir. Cash, it is on you, good sir. Um, you know what I mean. Let's uh, let's get into it, good sir. Talk dun, about dun, sports. Dun, dun. Well, <laughs> today marks um the last last weekend in the NFL. Um, scenarios for the NFL are as well. First, let me give a shout out to Derrick Henry. He passed over two thousand yards rushing this year. That guy's an absolute animal. Um, that's not an easy feature to do. You do the math: sixteen games to get two thousand yards. You must average. Again, you do the math, but he eclipsed that today with his uh, over 200 yards against um, uh, um, a division opponent, um, Houston uh, Texans. That also propelled them into the playoffs. We're going to cover that in a second. Um, Cleveland makes the playoffs for the first time since 2002. That snaps the longest playoff drought um, in the NFL so far. Um, never thought i come into this season, and Cleveland will be making the playoffs. Um, but as such, the playoffs right now are um, da, 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 Green Bay is the number one seed in the NFC East. Um, I'm sorry, NFC. I want to say NFC East because that's still undecided. Mm-hmm. undecided. That game is going on right now. If Washington wins, they advance, eliminating um, the Giants, who won today um, mm-hmm. against the Cowboys. So the Cowboys got eliminated. And anytime they get eliminated, I'm excited. Um, so they're out of it. <laughs> Anytime they eliminate, I'm excited. So uh, the Giants are waiting for the winner of this Philly and Washington game. Again, Washington wins. They win the NFC East with a seven and nine record. Laugh all you want. It was pathetic. Yeah, I know. Pathetic, it was man. Just yeah, yeah. If any division could have done with a preseason, it was this one because um, they all started off slow. But nonetheless, um, Green Bay right now is the number one seed. They get a bye. Um, the Saints, they also clinched today. Seattle, they clinched for the third spot. Um, Washington would get the fourth if they win. Um, Tampa Bay with uh, Tom Brady. Um, he makes the playoffs today as a fifth seed. Um, they'll play Washington if Washington were to advance. The Rams win. Um, they clinched today and the Bears, which was a shocker. Um, the Bears clinched. And the reason why they clinched is because um, the Cardinals lost. So that's your NFC um, side of it. Kansas City is the number one seed in the West. I'm sorry, in the AFC. Um, they clinched that, that spot. They also get a buy. Buffalo clinched with the number two seed. It's a team that you might want to look out for um, because they appear to be um, clicking on all cylinders. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, they clinched the third. And fourth was Tennessee, which clinched after beating um, the Texans today. Baltimore, um, shout out to Baltimore. They got a, the, another playoff appearance. They will face the Titans in the first round, which is going to be tough. Um, Cleveland, again, I said they clinched in the Indianapolis Colts, which no one really predicted in the beginning of the season. Also clinched that final seventh seed today. Biggest loser um, would be the Miami Dolphins. They went 10 and 6. Dolphins went 10 and 6 with a rookie quarterback, um, which is damn good, but it wasn't enough to make the playoffs, so they're out. So that's that for the NFL. Um, moving on, transitioning to the NBA. Um, your boy KD is simply nasty. Um, <laughs> he uh, and I sent you guys a clip earlier. He's a uh, back back, you know, uh, putting on cross cross over moves, uh, hitting jumpers, dunking on people. Uh, Brooklyn, that's going to be a tough out. I don't care what anybody thinks. They're going to be a tough out in the playoffs this year. Hey, they, they're not looking too good against the Wizards right now, though. Yeah, you know, it's, and, and that, 
that brings me to the Wizards, who won their first game without Westbrook. Um, he didn't play um, after starting 0-4. Um, I'm sorry, 0-5. Um, they started 0-5 with Westbrook. Westbrook got a couple triple-doubles. He didn't play the last game before tonight's Brooklyn game, and they won their first game. So that may be a scenario moving forward. Um, speculation about Bradley Bill and his long-term future with uh, Washington still up in the air, but he's just proved that he can do it without Westbrook. Um, but Westbrook always gets up Sherm to play KD. I don't know what it is about him. I guess it's a, it's that a personal chip. thing. Yeah, it's a chip on the shoulder, I guess, yeah. when he has to play against KD. Um, so, yeah, he's doing his thing right now and what looks like a close game. Um, we'll see how that scenario um, ends. Oh, and um, last but not least, when we talk about the college playoffs, um, Clemson who was favored to be in the finals against Alabama were upset by Ohio State. Um, Ohio State advances and moves on to face Alabama um, on Tuesday night. Um, should be a good game, man. I'm assuming it'll be a good game. I think Alabama's going to walk away with that one pretty easily um, because nobody really expected um, Ohio State to advance that far. They only played six games this season, which is controversy on itself because they had to change the rules in order for them to get in. Um, that's a money thing. You know, they're a big time money program when it comes to football. So having them in the playoffs was as much about the money thing than to say, well, they're they're a best one of the best teams in the in the um best teams in college football. Um one thing though, uh, a lot of people are excited about Clemson taking an L, and that's because of Dabo Sweeney, um, their head coach, who's pro MAGA and said some very disparaging things about um the Black Lives Matter protesting. So a lot of people were against Clemson based off of Dabo by itself. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? And um, he was talking a lot of smack against Ohio State, um, not giving them their credit. And I think they took it, to quote Michael Jordan, I think they took it personally, you know what I mean? So they came out, <laughs> they came out and um, really put a smack in to uh, Clemson, um, sending a message to Dabo, who didn't have much to say after the uh, the loss. He actually said he, he would say it again. Um which is kind of a big F you again, you know what I mean? Not too many people like that, dude, but that's that, man. That's sports right now. Um, next week is going to be even more um, because the playoffs are getting ready to start. Um, so, um, you know. Yeah. You know. I mean, I, I know I don't, and I don't. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> I, I've heard, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's why you the guy because, yeah. yeah, man. This, yeah. It's crazy. I, it's like certain things like the the last part of what you were saying about, um, you know, uh, certain people's stances on Black, Black Lives, Lives Matter and all of that. It's like, yo, as somebody who doesn't really I, I probably, you know, I told Sherman, I've told you, I think the only sports I follow even a little bit nowadays is like the NFL and mo I mean, not NFL, the NBA. And even then, like, um, <laughs> you know, I was laughing, uh, telling somebody, I was like, man, I just watch highlights on YouTube. I watch those little videos they put together, which is like 20 minutes long. Yeah. Con condensing a full game to 20 minutes. That is the best yeah. thing that has ever been made, B. Like, you know, I, I saw some post on Twitter and people are like posting records right now. And I'm like, it's too early to even care. You know what I mean? Yeah, I saw like, you tweet that. Yeah. People are like, oh, this team is two and three while – Charlotte's like, you know, whatever, not Charlotte, but whoever it is, you know, they, they have a winning record. I'm like, oh. It, yeah, it's right. How many games in a season? <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's for a full season, it's 82, but this year they're right. looking it to 72. Big fucking deal. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, when you start. You shouldn't be caring about five games, dog. At like, <laughs> in a 72 <laughs> game season. At like, all. five you games. Need something to talk about, man. Right. Yeah, and that's right. all it is. This right. all, that's all it is, man. It, it really know. won't start. NBA, and, and y'all know, NBA won't really start popping until after the All-Star break. That's when everybody's really jockeying for position. Yeah. Um, most, it, most years, I don't even really it. start watching full games until around that time. Probably In fact, there has been seasons where I literally didn't watch a full game until I watched the All-Star game. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know? <laughs> I, you know? 
it's arguable to say you don't have to watch up until then because nobody. But I mean, a lot of coaches are experimenting with their lineups and trying to get mm-hmm. the young guys some 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 clock or just trying to see what rosters look good or what chemistry looks good on the court. Nobody really is like, oh yeah, we got to win the first ten games. Who gives a shit? Yeah, yeah man, yeah, man. That's, that's crazy. But yeah, that's man, cool. appreciate you, brother. Yeah, man. Dun, dun, dun. I need a I need an outro. Dun, dun. Right. <laughs> Most I can do, I can beatbox for you. I don't know if that's right. Right. Yeah. Hey, just gonna hate. You know what I mean? He wouldn't let me live, Sharon. You know what I mean? I'll try to set him up. So I'll send him out with a, you know, little boom bap. No, tough crowd. Tough crowd. <laughs> hate man, All right. You know, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on, man, we're going to jump into uh, TV, um, TV, movies, different things like that. Um, yeah, man. Um, so I have uh, definitely been um, I, I've had a chance to catch up with a couple different things uh, this week. Um, you know, the main thing I, I probably spent the most time watching was Cobra Kai season three. Uh, yeah. And yo, yo, man, I, I loved it, man. Um, you know, uh, I was just, yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, the, the episodes are 30 minutes. So like, you know, I mean, it came out. Oh yeah. I'm about to expose myself. It came out what Friday. I I know, it was Friday. <laughs> yeah. You know, cause you know what I do? Like, so, so my, my, my technique is real strong. Like, so it's a show that because my, my oldest daughter is uh, 12 going on 13. So it's like, I mean, I can watch that with her present. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, it, the show definitely got a, a little bit of language. It's probably like TV 14 or something like that. Um, and I think this season they actually dropped the F-bomb at least once or twice. Um, but, you know, it's like watching a PG-13 movie pretty much. But um, so with this show, I'm able to kind of watch during the day a bit. And a lot of times I'm rarely ever watching anything where, I'm just looking at the screen like that's really not how I take in most of what I watch nowadays. It's usually I got the laptop on my lap and I'm working. Um, So I'm like simultaneously doing whatever, shooting a million and one emails. And then I'm looking up at the screen. This is back and forth. You know what I mean? But um, but yo, like the new season, man, it's 10 episodes. They definitely deliver. If you're a fan of the Karate Kid franchise and um. And I'll say, man, if you're a super fan of Karate Kid 2, um, this season is definitely going to be one of your favorites because, um, you know, they deliver. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to really. If you've seen the trailer, there's no need to say spoiler warning. But for those of you who have not seen the trailer, spoiler, uh, spoiler warning. Um, uh, he definitely uh, makes the trip back to Japan this season. And um yeah, it's dope. Like it's dope. It's people being dug up and stuff. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, it's 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 awesome. So I highly recommend. Yeah. It. I, I actually started it. I actually started it. So uh, yeah, I, season one. Um, and I love it. I'm I'm mad at myself for being this late with it. You know what I mean? And I should have mm-hmm. listened because Jordan kept warning me. It's good. Uh, you gotta see it. It's good. Um, yeah. But I put it off and watching other stuff. Um. So yeah, man, I, I, I'm loving what I'm saying so far. Um, yeah, and hopefully uh, it just gets as good as y'all y'all told me it is. You yeah, know? man, it, yo, it's it's super dope. And um, I'm a big fan. What I what I'm appreciating so far is understanding Johnny a lot more. You know, what yes. I mean? and, and yes. what he and what he went through. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Before and after, you you kind of feel. Like he was right in the number. Well, I do think yeah. that he was right in the number of the early episode scenarios. You know what I mean? Right, I definitely right. saw his point of it. And 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 Daniel was kind of like, you know, he was being kind of like a, a one sided asshole, in my opinion, in regards mm-hmm. to a lot of stuff that that he was trying to say. Or or Dan, um um not Dan, uh, uh uh Johnny was trying to tell him. You know what yeah. I mean? So um Right now, I'm siding with Johnny until otherwise. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right, right. But the 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 to see him take responsibility and try to train up a kid, you know what I mean? That's and become, in a sense, you know, a better version of his own sensei. Um, it's a cool dynamic, man. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a really cool dynamic. So, yeah, I'm enjoying, man. 
Yeah, for sure, man. It's a, uh, it's definitely, man. Hold on, like, I, how can I put it? It's um, to me, it is. I mean, there's obviously a bit of fan service, right? Where they definitely are, um, you know, they're looking at like the things that made the original, um, the original movies great. And um, certain characters, I love how, like, you know, it's not them recasting a bunch of these old characters. They're actually finding the old actors and all of that. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, yeah, man. And it's it's just really, really, really dope how they uh, managed to put it together. And it's like, you know, and one of the things I'll say, like, when I say it's dope and stuff, I'm not saying that um, the acting is the greatest in the world. I'm not saying that, like, you know, like, oh, my God, when they delivered that one monologue, bro, it was like, oh, no, nah, I'm not saying none of that. I'm saying that in terms of <laughs> them looking at their audience and realizing that, um, you know, we made something special and our audience really, really um, appreciates this thing that we made. How can we kind of take this a bit further and explore this universe, right? And see how these people grew up, who they became, who their children became, um, you know. And and the dynamic of of like Johnny, like it's it's easy to look at his life because it's really the whole thing is like a redemption story, right? And mm-hmm. so it's easily, I think it's easy for new people to watch the show and just kind of think that Johnny just comes from like just poor uh like humble beginnings and struggle and this that and the third and that's what's really really dope um because you look at them where they are and if you're a person who's coming in new and don't know the backstory um you know you wouldn't think that they're both from what they're from from you know i mean like with um with uh, Ralph Macchio's, um, with Daniel's character being from Jersey originally and then right. living in one of the poorest parts um, of Encino when he got there. And right. then Johnny actually coming from money, you know what I mean? But like, but really looking at how, like, if you don't have the right people around you, right? And like in your ear helping you make better life decisions and stuff like that, your life can end or go in a very di- uh, different direction. And so, um, yeah, man, it's just so much. Concept. I haven't even thought about that. Yeah, man, bro, like it's so much that's dope about the show that's unspoken, right? That isn't necessarily about the characters just kind of making it obvious. Like if you just kind of really take it in and really appreciate what they're giving you, um, there's a lot of substance there, um, you know, and a lot of, uh, a lot of social concepts. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, man. But um, but definitely man, I, highly, I highly recommend checking it out. Um, as far as other stuff uh, that I've um, got into, um, I've definitely been watching, uh, you know, I've been watching, um, I just finished watching last night. It was Death to 2020. Um, it's like a mockumentary about the year 2020. Samuel L. Jackson. It. Yes, it is, it is very hilarious. Um, so that's definitely um, worth checking out. It is unfortunately hilarious, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, man. Laugh to keep from crying. Hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Man. Like it's um, yeah, man, definitely worth checking out. Um, and then the other one, which is kind of like, and so that one I just mentioned is on Netflix along with Cobra Kai. And then the other one that I would recommend check. Say again. The competition joint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so and so now the competition for that joint um that's on Amazon Prime is yearly departed. Um, and that is like it's an all female cast. Sarah Silverman's in it. Uh, who else is in that joint? Um, Tiffany Haddish is in it. Um, and Kevin it's just Hart, is Kevin Hart in it too. No, no, no. It's all it's an all female cast. Yeah, that's female right. director. It's just nothing but women. And um, and they basically are at a funeral. It's a memorial for uh for the year 2020. But what's very different is the mockumentary joint death to 2020 kind of just is a review of the entire year, like top to bottom where they kind of start from the very beginning of the year and just work their way through where this is really done. Like you're at a funeral service and different people are coming up to speak. And they basically, they focus in on different things from 2020 that need to be laid to rest forever. You know what I'm saying? And so like things from like the name, Karen, to like um 
Uh, what else? Yeah, bro. They um, what else was it? They uh, pants. You know what I'm saying? Because of Zoom calls and stuff. What else, man? Um, another funny one was oh, cop shows, TV shows about cops. Yes. Wow. Because they yeah, because they dead at cops. Man, like yo, they they like a lot of shows that were centered around like cops yeah. and stuff like that have been catching a lot of flack this yeah. year because of all of the protests. And so, so yeah, so like, bro, the, the writing, the right, it's a, it's a lot of like really just smart writing, like how they did it, and um, it's a really really interesting joint. I I enjoyed both of those last uh, two programs I mentioned, but um, of those, I two, yeah, I really, I really yeah. hated that show. Yeah, oh, always, dragging, always dragging a black man butt ass naked out in the middle of the street. Uh, like, he said he hate the the TV I show. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I, only thing uh, I will say this: the only That's thing I found, in the beginning, the only thing <laughs> was, I found entertaining about it was the cameraman being able to keep up with a lot of the people. <laughs> oh, the trailer parks. The trailer parks were good too, man. What they part of these athletic cameramen, though, yeah. <laughs> Dude be taking off cameraman be right on his ass. <laughs> like, oh my god. Oh what they find that at? You know what I'm saying? Hold on, you want oh, shoot man. you want shoot for this series? All right, let me test your 40 real quick. Right. <laughs> hey, right. <laughs> hey, young, listen, that needs you need to pitch that to like a sketch comedy show, bro. Like that's a whole that that's like a missing. That's an in the vault scene from like Chappelle show right there. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> cameramen for cops. Hey, you know, you know what cameramen for cops are the only one. I mean, the, the only cameramen that I think can compete with the cameramen from cops are the dudes who shot the scene in True Detective season one. I don't know if y'all watch that show, but True Detective season one, uh-huh. bruh. The the scene that they got where they in the hood, like they go in the hood. Most people don't realize this, but bro, it is a 10 minute long like shot with no cuts where like they go into this apartment and then it's this whole sequence where they chase in hopper fence, bruh, like the it's no cuts, <laughs> no cuts. And it's 10 minutes and it's like, yo, and the scene involves at least 30 extras. Bro, it is some of the most excellent like camera work you will see on already like one of the dopest TV shows that HBO has ever made. And that should say a whole lot to you because they make great shows. Yeah. But dude, yeah, that, that's probably the only group of cam- uh, people who could uh who could definitely compete with the folks from cops. They, they, they recruit from the Olympics or something. Man, they I don't know, bro. Me. I don't know. I don't know. They look whole time. It might have been some folks who used to work on cops. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> when you see the so camera go over, the, over the gate, I got a question. Couple yeah. questions. All right. So, did you see the trailer for Snowfall? Oh yeah, new I'm season so- of Snowfall. Yes, coming oh, in I'm February. So I am so ready. I'm I'm so ready. ready. Super duper ultra mega. What else can I add to it? Ready? Oh my <laughs> god! That shit came on earlier. Two joints came on today that gave me the chills. Snowfall's next uh, season, mm-hmm. and Denzel, the greatest actor in mm-hmm. American history, mm-hmm. has a new. And that's just my opinion, of course. Yeah. Oh man, look, I ain't arguing. Did you see the trailer? Argue, yeah, movie? Oh, uh, the civil thing. What was it? Where he's like, uh, he's investigate, helping to investigate some case or something like that. The yeah, simple things. Yeah, yeah, like things. a detective or, or something. The little things. The little things. That's yeah. Yeah, the little things. Yeah, that looks excellent as well. Yes, that looks really, really I'm good. Bro. The trailer for Little Things. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna write that one down. Yeah, I mean, you know, look, I mean, it's I'm different. like, yeah, it's. It's I'm Denzel. Here for both of them. I'm here for both. I can't wait for the this new season I, because they ain't been saying a lot about it, and I don't. I haven't been following it like that because I I can't apply my emotion to right. that type of anxiety. So when when they push it out is when they push it out, and when they when I finally saw that shit today, oh my god, I yeah. can't wait. To see this joint, man, it's probably gonna yeah, be 
season, I think. Oh man, it looks it looks really good, man. I'm I'm uh I'm super ready for it. You know what I mean? It's it's yeah, it's Denzel, bro. It's Denzel and no, I'm, I'm talking about the uh the uh snowfall joint. Oh, snowfall, yeah, yeah. that too. I'm yeah, look, I'm ready for them both. Both of them, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I gotta go back and binge. I gotta binge. I saw some episodes of Snowfall season one. Okay, what? I fell off. You know me. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not saying it's not good. It's just that for me, it's hard to catch. Now I was watching, you know, week to week. You know what I mean? And for mm. me, once I miss a week or two, then I gotta. I I feel like I gotta go back. You know what I mean? And watch it consecutively, or at least I don't want to skip. So I gotta go back. Yeah, you know me, man. I, yeah, I fell off after the second season, and then I just um, yeah, I, like I think I was midway through the second season or something like that. Would you say? Uh, oh no, I was saying yeah. it's only been two seasons. Somebody fell yeah. off. No, nah, I fell off. Like I was in the second season, and then I think I got like maybe to the midpoint or something like that, and I had stopped watching for whatever reason. Um, I can't remember if it was like whatever software or whatever yeah. joint I was using to watch the show. Uh, you I mean, you know, there's, there's are, that. Are, so, so, are you are you binging or trying to catch it live as the shows come, Stan? Oh, when it come out, it depends. It depends on which uh, one of these little joints that I got that it shows up on. So I have it, a hard time. Remember back in the day, we had set schedules. Like when oh, my, my, one of my favorite sitcoms was Martin, so we knew yeah. every Sunday when that came on, that was what you was doing. It ain't really yeah. man, yeah. they have a hard time keeping up with those scheduled shows and catching it week in and week out. That's I got a binge because eight hundred thousand yeah. shows. Yeah, yeah. it's, um, it's almost than, than ever, bro. Like than ever, it's definitely oh. it's hard to keep up with all this stuff. Yeah. You know? yeah, man. Yeah, man. And it's just like, yo, then you got certain joints. Like, for instance, there's a whole bunch of stuff that Apple's making that I haven't seen yet. And I want to see like a lot of those shows, man. But I'm like, I'm really not signing up for another service uh, to get the joints. And not for nothing. I mean, I got options. I know there's other ways to watch it. But like, I've been kind of slacking on that lately just because there's so much dope content on the stuff that I got access to. It's like, eh, if I get to it, cool. But I ain't jumping through I'm kind of past that jump through hoops point with like I just got way too much access to way too much stuff that I enjoy to really care enough to kind of jump through any hoops for anything at this point. Yeah. I feel like I'm running into one of those people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's like when, you know, like as an indie artist, we're like, yo, buy my album. Then they're like, oh, where can I find it? He's like, well, it ain't on this site. But, you know, if you sign up for this joint over here, you can <laughs> and, like, and people looking at you like, bro, I ain't going to do that. I ain't gonna yeah, do that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like I get it now. I understand now. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> like nothing against you. It's just yeah. when I I'm, think about all of those steps, I'm like, ah, but if I don't do any of that, mm. I can just save all of that time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Like I look, I, I completely get it now. I'm sorry for those of you I harassed in the back. <laughs> you know I get it. Man. You know, it's like, but when is it gonna be on here though? Because that's where I am. <laughs> this one thing that I use. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm not buying a whole new device, bro. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, I'm buying the subscriptions. And I get it, man. Because cable, yeah. will be, cable will bust your ass. Oh, well, right. Subscriptions, they start adding up, too. Yeah. All of these things. Crazy. You know what's crazy? Like, yo, with everything Amazon related, we don't even realize it. But, dog, in order to watch that stuff, you literally have to buy hardware. That's true. You know what I mean? Like most that's of us true. don't think about that. Now, granted, that's what most people do for cable anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like for the most part, as easy as it is nowadays. I mean, yo, and shout out to them because they still killing it regardless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, look, they got me. You know what I'm saying? I think, I honestly, because I, I, I was kind of skeptical about Amazon Prime, but in my opinion, they they the best ones out there between them and HBO Max. Like I'm kind of over Netflix. I don't know if y'all noticed that. I'm kind of yeah. over Netflix, but HBO Prime and um, I'm sorry, HBO Max and Amazon Prime. That's my shit right there. You know what I mean? So yeah, here's what it is. Um, yeah, Disney Plus about to really, really start smacking people 
this upcoming year because with the new season with this last season of mandalorian and how well it did um you know like i mean it was an amazing se- a season with a great combination is a great combination of top-notch art and writing and acting mixed with really good uh with with fan service as well like dope fan service but like but then the follow-up with the movie soul which hands down is one of my favorite joints that came out um in 2020 um so now if you look at their lineup for 2021 bro like and it's not to say that these other services ain't got dope stuff coming but the thing is with disney plus you can already see what these bamas got lined up for the next 12 months and all mm-hmm. i'm saying to people is like i mean a hey, young i'm good over here b like right. i don't even really care what's right. coming out on any other networks except what i know is already dropping on disney plus because right. You got Falcon and the Winter Soldier coming. That's going to be stupid. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, Falcon. That's going to be stupid. And it's not a series. I mean, it's a series of joints, but it's really like a long movie that they just kind of broke up. I mean, they shot it like a show, but I don't think it's going to be like multiple joints in the future. They're really using these shows to kind of set up these bigger films that are coming. So that's what's really dope about how they're doing their shows because their shows are con- directly connected to all the movies. You know what I mean? So it's the the goal of the shows is to push is to push the bigger story along. So you know, as a fan of the MCU and what they've been doing, bro, like I'm super excited because first you got um, Wandavision that's coming uh, in two weeks. That, yeah, January fifteenth that drop, and then in March is Winter and um, is a uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. You also got uh, Miss Marvel dropping later this year, which looks re- really, really dope. Um, and then you got, um, what am I missing? Uh, you also got uh, a couple of their films dropping. So you got Black Widows dropping. Also, um, The Eternals is dropping. Um, Hawkeye like got his show coming. Bruh, it's young. It's gonna be crazy, and you got a whole bunch of Star Wars related stuff that's dropping, and they something crazy. A damn nerd. Yeah. <laughs> <Christ. Yep. laughs> yes. Oh my nerd. god. I'm here for it all, bro. So, so, so I was gonna really say, like, uh, the problem I have with Netflix is the same problem it sounds like I might have with Disney. Mm-hmm. Their exclusive content. Um, Netflix has started. Be, I mean, they remember remember when it first came out. They they had contracts with a whole lot of different yeah. people you can use and then slowly but surely, it's it's primarily Netflix originals. Netflix, hey, bro. Netflix and originals. Hey, mm-hmm. bro, you need to holler at me offline, man. <laughs> <laughs> you need to holler at me offline, man. You sound like you got the plug. He got he got the plug, bro. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> you need to holler at me offline, bro. <laughs> All right, I'll do that. I know. I watch, I, I watch pretty much everything. Right. There's not much that I have not seen that I do not that that I that, there's not much that I have not seen that is not available. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Dot, 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 dot. The views of. Uh, Chef the, uh, uh, of uh, Sherm the Barber. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I the say man. Man. <laughs> right. I say right. I'm just playing, man. But yeah, man. But yo, I mean, yo, it's a lot of great stuff, man. Uh, I'm sure, like, there's no shortage of things that we'll have for next week to talk about because I'm sure there's going to be something crazy dropping this week, too. So, like, young. I mean, that's probably been the best part about uh, this whole past year like in terms of you know obviously for those of us who've been locked down with our families getting close to them but there's also been no shortage of good content to watch online you know what i mean there's literally been something for everybody if representation matters to you there's been some amazing amazing shows done by people of color um or starring people of color in the past year like no matter what it is you're looking for at this point in time in the world, I feel like it's out there. You know what I mean? So um, definitely if uh, there's anything we can think 2024 and it ain't much, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, we, can, we can definitely thank them for the, some of the content that we got, you know, thank that year for that. But, uh, 
but on that note man uh that's uh about that fella i think that's i think we covered everything you know what i mean uh but you know per usual man thank everybody for tuning i uh, thank you know you all for tuning in uh more content coming we'll definitely be back next week with more great stuff for y'all to check out and uh yeah man peace happy new year happy new year happy new year indeed <laughs> <laughs>